So last season, there were a lot of talks about the rookies in the 2021 NBA draft class. But it was mainly around the same group of guys throughout the year, like Scotty Barnes, who won the Rookie of the Year award, Jalen Green, Cade Cunningham, and Evan Mobley that were the top three picks in the class as well. But there was one guy that was also drafted in the top 10 of this 2021 class, and I would say he had a really good, well-rounded year and was pretty underrated when you consider the discussion that was going on amongst the rookies this se or this past season. And that was Orlando Magic first-round pick Franz Wagner, who was drafted 8th overall out of Michigan, and he was a pick selection that was really acquired in the Nikola Vucevic trade to Chicago back in the 2021 trade deadline. And when Orlando initially selected him, I didn't even think of it as much. I just thought like, okay, I was really interested in Jalen Suggs, but I didn't even pay attention to Franz Wagner like that. I just knew that he was a star in college. But he definitely proved me wrong. And to be honest, right now, I could say he's one of my favorite young players in the league. So I would definitely say that the Franz Wagner selection has turned out to be a major win for the Orlando Magic rebuild, as he has major upside and this past rookie season put up some pretty good stats, averaged 15 points per game and nearly 5 rebounds a night. But what I would say was the most impressive when it came to the stats for Franz Wagner is the efficiency because as we all know, rookies in the league really don't tend to shoot well, but when you look at Franz Wagner's stats, he shot over 45%, he shot 35% from 3, and he shot 86% from the line. That's all league average or slightly above league average. He was really impressive during that first season. He showed off some really solid scoring ability. He showed off sneaky good athleticism as well. And Wagner just has good tools in his game that make him like kind of versatile on the offensive end. He can be a secondary ball handler and kind of play make when a team needs him to. But he also has that ability to play off the ball, cut back door, and get open looks from moving around. Wagner has that ability to also finish around the rim and hit jumpers from beyond the arc as well. Kind of has an inside out kind of game. Another thing that makes Franz Wagner such an interesting young prospect for me though is the fact that he is a big wing at 6 foot 9 with a 6 foot 11 wingspan because if you've been watching this channel you would know that you know how I feel about wings in today's NBA. You got to have something about you. You either got to be tall you got to have a long wingspan, you got to be athletic, something, something along those lines to make me think, all right, this is an interesting player to watch for. And Franz Wagner kind of has that. He has the build. He can guard positions two through four, and he has the potential to get better and better with time and can one day probably become one of the more versatile wings in the league. And then when you look at the dynamic of a Franz Wagner, Paolo Bancaro, and Wendell Carter Jr. front court next season for this Orlando Magic team, that's a serious, scary young front court. Because right now, obviously we all know about Paolo Bancaro, he was the number one pick. He has got the most, the most upside on this Magic roster. But make no mistake about it, I think Franz Wagner is the second best player on this team as of right now. Now, Magic fans in the comments, you can let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys believe is the second best player on that team? But I think Franz Wagner is the second best. Not to mention, though, when you look at this Magic young core in general, there's a lot of interesting players on this roster that I've mentioned in previous videos. Like Jalen Suggs, who was selected fifth overall by the Magic, and I really am a big fan of him. I hope he can turn it around in year two. Cole Anthony stepped up his game a little bit this past season. And then you got Jonathan Isaac, who's coming back off an injury, and before he got hurt, he was one of the best two-way players in the game, and he's probably returning at the beginning of this season, most likely. So, to be honest, this team's ceiling for the future is really high, and I really believe that Franz Wagner is at the forefront of that when you look at the bright future for this franchise that was once stuck in mediocrity with guys like Nikola Vucevic and Evan Fournier. But now, they're one of the more interesting teams heading into the 2022-2023 NBA season. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.